Aloha and welcome to the Tiki Girl channel. We review everything tropical. We also give fashion suggestions and blog weekly to all of our attention of a diverse collaboration of stylish tropical themed jewelry, accessories, clothing, and more. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make stretch bracelets that don't break. So here's an example of a stretchy bracelet that I have. And you'll see that it is very loose and I feel like it's gonna fall apart anytime if I keep stretching it out. And I don't want to do that on this beautiful bracelet. First, you need to choose the right elastic, but don't use an elastic that's too thin. Fashion trends come and go, but elastic bracelets remain popular because they're very versatile and easy to wear. They're also easy to make and they can last for a long time if you follow these tips. So here I have this clear stretch magic band. It's very favorite of many jewelry. I bought this on Amazon. This is made especially for stretchy bracelets, anklets, and necklaces. It's super strong and very elastic, which makes it perfect for making jewelry and craft projects. This thickness is ideal for small beads or any metal type. The most popular sizes of elastic cord for making bracelets is 0.5 millimeters or one millimeter elastic cord, but selecting one depends on the weight of the beads and the size of the hole. So here is the stretch magic cord. So first you need to stretch it out first a little bit before you insert it into the bracelet. So here's the bracelet that I'm gonna use. I'm still gonna currently use the elastic that is in there right now. So we're just gonna do that. I'm just gonna turn it in inside out. So here I'm gonna go ahead and insert it using um, this magic, um, stretch magic um, cord into the loop. So here it is. So I'm gonna put it right here into the cord. I'm just gonna start putting it in. It's kind of like doing, um, like you're sewing, so I can still utilize it as kind of like my um, um, a bracelet. So I'm gonna start doing that. Then I'm going to insert this cord into the holes in the bracelet. Then I'm gonna create a surgeon's knot, which is the most reliable knot for the elastic bracelets. A surgeon's knot is a square knot, also known as a reef knot, with an extra loop through. The extra loop helps keep the knot from slipping and you can add an extra half knot on top of the surgeon's knot just in case. So after cutting the elastic cord, add a dab of glue to the knot. I use this E6000 Jewelry glue. There, there are two that works well. Some people think that super glue can erode the elastic over time. This E6000 stays flexible, so it's probably a better choice. It, it is possible to cover your knot that makes your elastic bracelet look nicer, but also protects the knot from wear caused by rubbing between two beads. How you care for your elastic bracelet is just as important as how you make it. Follow these steps and you can make them last. Always put your elastic bracelet on the right way. This is one of the main factors in bracelets that don't last. Never put on a bracelet sh by stretching it over your hand. As much as possible, roll it over with your hand without excessive pulling. Keep the bracelet away from soap, perfumes, hair, and skin products, sunscreen, salt, air, mint, etc. Many of these products we use every day can degrade the quality of elastic over time. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. If you're interested in purchasing these craft ideas, please click the links below and don't forget to check out my website at www.thetakeyourgirl.com. Mahalo and happy shopping.